Hello, fifth grade. I'm about to sing and explain our new Mishnah. It's Masachet Berchot, Perak Aleph, Mishnah Hey. The main topic of this Mishnah is that one is obligated, one is, one is Chayav. We mentioned the exodus from Egypt, the Yetziat, meets Rhine, both in the day and the night. And that one fulfills their obligation to mention the exodus from Egypt at night by saying the third paragraph of Shema, which is called Parshat Tzitzi. Now you would think that you don't say this paragraph at night because the main topic is Tzitzi. And the obligation to wear Tzitzi is only during the day. And the reason is, is because the Pasuk says, Ure'item Otam, and you shall see them, and then be reminded of the meets vote. But no, you mentioned this, you, you say the third paragraph of Shema at night because it also mentions in there the exodus from Egypt. Okay, so now I will sing the Mishnah. Mazkirim Yetziat Mitzrayim Balelot Amar Ribi El Azar Ben Azaria Hare Ani Keven Shivim Shana Velozachiti Shete Amer Yetziat Mitzrayim Balelot Ad Shederasha Ben Zoma Shenemar Lamaan Tizkor Et yom tzeicha me'eretz mitzrayim kol yemei chayecha, yemei chayecha hayamim kol yemei chayecha halelot vechachamim omrim yemei chayecha haolam hazeh kol yemei chayecha lehavi Limot HaMashiach. Okay, so first, this Mishnah says, Mazkirin Yetziat meets Rhyme Balelot, that we mention the exodus from Egypt at night. Amar Ribi Elazar ben Azaria, Hare Ani Keven Shivim Shana. It was as though it was as though I was seventy years old. Velozachiti shete amer yetziat meets rhyme balelot, and I did not yet merit to say the exodus from Egypt at night. When it says lo zachiti, it doesn't mean that he never had had said it at night. It's that he didn't yet know the source for saying the exodus from Egypt at night. Another interpretation of lo zachiti is that he had not won an argument against the chachamim, who in fact hold that you do not have to mention the exodus from Egypt at night. Ad she derasha ben zoma, until he heard ben Zoma interpret a pasuk. Lamaantis kor et yom tzeicha me'eretz mitzrayim kol yemei chayecha. In order that you you mention um, coming out of Egypt, kol yemei chayecha all of the days of your life. Then it says, Yemei Chai Vayecha Hayamim, that out of those words we, we learn that you have to mention the exodus from Egypt in the day, but out of Kol, Kol Yemei Chai Vayecha, we learn that you also have to mention the exodus from Egypt at night. And because really a day starts at night. Meaning that, for example, 
when we start in a, a Chag, we don't say it starts in the morning, it starts at Shkia, sunset on the previous day, it ends at Tseif, at nightfall. And then it says, Ve Chachamim Omrim, and the sages say, Yemei Chai Yecha, that's talking about Ha'olam Hazeh, our days. But Kol Yemei Chai Yecha, the, out of the Kol, they like say, that comes to tell us that you have to mention the exodus from Egypt in the times of HaMashiach, HaYemot HaMashiach, the time of the elected one of Hashem. So now I want to quickly ex explain what's, what was the Mishnah originally saying when it says, Hare Ani Keven Shivim Shana. Um, what it was saying is, is that he was ke, it was as though he was 70 years old. Meaning, so the story is, is Rebbe El Azar ben Azaria. He was elected to be a Nasi at a very young age. At, at this time, at the head of the Sanhedrin, the person who was a Nasi was Rabban Gamliel. And he had embarrassed another, another person who was in the Sanhedrin at this time, Rebi Yehoshua, who held very independent halakhic opinions. And people felt as though the person who was a Nasi at that time had embarrassed him too many times and was abusing his power. And so they elected as a Nasi Rebi Elazar ben Azariah. He was embarrassed because he was so young. And so the day after he was elected to be a Nasi, the head of the Sanhedrin, he woke up and he had gray hairs. And so he looked as though he was 70 years old, as though he was old. So that's when it's so that's why it says, Hareani Kevin Shivim Shana. Now I want to briefly explain what is this concept of Ayemot HaMashiach, the days of a Messiah. Um, so there's multiple understandings of what are Hayimot HaMashiach. The basic understanding is, is that it's going to be a more ideal time. And there is a Rambam who says that Hayimot HaMashiach will be like our time, except there will be a leader of Israel elected by God, and he will lead all the Jews back to Israel and he will teach everyone, Jews and non-Jews, the truth of the Torah and Hashem, and that it will, it will be a time of universal peace. As the Pasuk says, V'haya adnai lemelech al kol ha'aretz v'yom ha'hu ye'anai chad u'shemo echad. So God, he will, he, he will be king, and one will recognize his name as one. But then there's also those who say Hayamot HaMashiach is going to be a time of great miracles, like people will live for a very long time, and that, and that this universal peace will come through miracles. Okay, that is the end. Go out on Nimshallah HaMishnah. Good luck.